You're watching Detroit's own WHPR TV. Detroit Live. Man show. My name is Edgar Loma, aka Coffee Man. We have a great show today. Got a young man and his uh, significant other out here making changes in the world based on serving other people. And and when I hear about people serving other people, it kind of touched my heart and my spirit. And then when I met these couple a couple weeks ago, I had to get them on the show. Uh, and we're going to meet them later on, but, you know, I always have to start my show with checking out what's being stirred up in my cup. Uh, and it's simple. I've been doing this since January the 5th, and I look at my cup, my God, and I see what's being stirred up. And it looks like, uh, wow, the mastermind of getting it done. Whoa. My God. I know last week it was called the mastermind. Now it's the mastermind of getting it done because... When your mind is made up, and, and it's normally coming from a decision you've been thinking about and then getting confirmation on that. So when somebody give you something you've been kind of sitting with and dealing with, that's where the mastermind takes over. And me and experience, my, my experience is two things, serving and giving. Those are the two things I always want to be caught doing. And a shout out goes to uh, Texas and Florida and y'all situations with uh, hurricanes and things of that nature. Prayers go out to your families. God bless y'all. Stay strong. Keep it moving. And, and we people that heard about it, that didn't go through it, we get a chance to celebrate and thank God for the survivors of pressing their way as well as the condolence to those that lost their family members, stay encouraged, stay strong, and please keep it moving. Don't let what happened in the world dictate your destination. You were born with a purpose and a promise. Things are going to happen and come up just because we're living. And those are the things that come up. So God bless you guys. Stay strong. Uh, but back to the word of the day, the mastermind. And, and just the move of your thoughts being led based on the directions that you're going in. I mean, like I was saying, a powerful couple that's coming on today, they're going to share what they're doing, where they're doing it at, and how you can reach them while they're doing it. Brand new couple. I'm excited. I'm fired up. Remember, here on the Coffee Man Show, I can be reached at 313-868-0351. We're always giving away something on the Coffee Man Show. We got movie passes. We got coffee, we got tea, we got hot chocolate, we got coffee mugs, we got coffee t-shirts. We even got Coffee Man posters that I'll be signing and things of that nature. So if we got a caller coming in, feel free to call in, feel free to get on the list of getting things. Plus, we got a major event coming up on the 21st, which is next Thursday. We got a millionaire friend, a local millionaire friend named Curtis. He's going to come on the show. He's going to be talking about multiplying your money. I, my last show was actually the 28th of this month. I decided to go into the trenches and pull people out of situations that they've been in looking for a way out. I've been teaching as well as learning how to multiply my money, and I am actually involved doing it. It has been very productive, and I'm looking to teach as many people that want to learn. We have a class every Monday from 6 to 7.30 where we're teaching people how to multiply their money. I mean, I woke up today with three, let's say about $300. Now I'm about $700 plus. And it was just from the comfort of my couch and my cell phone. But uh, we're going to go and take a commercial break, and we're going to come back with my special guest. Stay tuned for the Coffee Man Show. And remember, <laughs> keep it hot and keep it stirred here on the Coffee Man Show.
Cheryl Underwood got her own show, now you get yours. Have a business or talent you want to showcase? Have your own show simulcast on WHPR TV and radio, and on Comcast Cable and all of your favorite apps and devices. But the best way to get it, you gotta come through here to get it. Because I wouldn't be here if this wasn't the real deal Holyfield. Come on, you know. come on! Packages start at just $99. Call now. Download the WHPR TV app and catch the Cheryl Underwood show wherever you are. Get ready. Coming soon to local TV 33 in Detroit and Channel 90 and 91 on Comcast. A new exciting platform for independent artists. New artists of the new millennium. It's the Brother Mike Second Chance Show. This platform is designed to showcase and share the second chance that has been given to those who have been blessed to receive another chance at a journey in life that they thought would never come. This show is sure to bless you and to encourage you with not just the musical talents, but life testimonies of how one has made it over by the favor and grace of God. This show will feature local and national artistry. Join us each and every second and fourth Sundays of the month at 3.30 p.m. on TV 33 and channel 90 and 91 for Comcast subscribers. Or download Roku on all media devices. For more information on the show, visit www.brothermike.com. Or email us at the Second Chance Show at BrotherMike.com. Hey, hey, welcome back to the Coffee Man Show. My name is Edgar Lohman, a.k.a. Coffee Man. Have some great guests. I was telling y'all about it before the break. They here. They in the house. We're going to start out. And it's a husband and wife team that got two. Matter of fact, let me get out of the way of greatness and introduce them to you right now. We got Mary. Yes. How you doing? I'm good. How are right. you? And we got Jason. Jason. Right, and y'all got some strong teams out here. I, I met you guys a couple weeks ago. You know, everybody know I'm a master plumber by trade. So I'm out in Southfield, I'm doing a plumbing job, and I see this guy, he in there cutting up and furlaying, furlaying, a, he doing something with a shrimp. And he was furlaying, he was doing parlaying, I don't know what it was, but he had it laid out, and the house was beautiful, and I seen a young lady out there preparing the, the bar and things of that nature, and you know, I'm, I, I got this rule of thumb that if I'm three feet away from anybody, they got to know what I do, how I do it, and how I can serve others. So I want to introduce Jason first. Jason, you was in the kitchen of this house in Southfield, mm -hmm. and you had a knife. <laughs> <laughs> so let me clean this story up. And you was doing something with a shrimp. You, So you, you are a chef? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. I've been in the business for 25 years. Okay, speaking to the mic, you've been a, you've been a chef for 25 years, and you're 27. How did that work? How, <laughs> how did the I'm math 41. work? You you 41. 41. Okay, and you've been chefing for 25 years. Yes, wow, yes. that is awesome. So you guys, you what's the name of your company? Well, the companies are separate. I have a chef company. Okay, my, speaking my to the mic. Yeah, my company is called the Harvin Effect. Okay. My wife's company is called You Drink I Make. Okay, Harvin Effect. Yes. Now, Harvin, what does that mean? That's my last name. Hallelujah. Last name. That's <laughs> how it's done. Name. Keep it simple, keep it plain, keep it, simple, keep it keep stirred, it and keep it hot. Okay, so people call you when they want, uh, by you being a chef, what is the largest amount of people you cook for? So far, it would be 200. Okay, okay. Wow, and you do you come with the menu of choice, or is it based up on the client? What it's based on the client. I actually would like to know what the people want to eat. Okay. I prefer to do it that way, so I get a good feel as to you know, family. Okay. That's what I like to do. I like to cook for the family. Okay. Home cook food. Now that event that you were preparing for, how many people? How many guests were involved? That ended up being about. It was supposed to be for seventy five, but it was about like a hundred, hundred twenty five. Okay. Okay. And what what were they menu? They had a fight night menu. It was a. Uh, they had a. Salad, a nice salad. They had um, a brunch. Chicken skewers. Chicken. They had grilled yeah. chicken skewers, Barbecue ribs. Chicken, then they. Spaghetti, macaroni. Wow. Y'all didn't bring none of that. Oh, that was a couple weeks ago. That was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> when you left early. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. Miss Mary, I seen you buzzing around 
once I found out y'all was married and I gave your husband my card, uh, I, my, my main interest was to get you guys exposure on television, uh, to tell people who y'all are, where y'all are, and where y'all doing it at. But uh, what I like to do, can you give a, a, a contact number to the guest that's listening that might want to prepare a dinner or yes, something or yes. uh, use your chef services? Where could you be reached at? Uh, beside oh, you can reach us. I'm sorry at two four eight six one seven seven two one four two four eight six one seven seven two one four. Okay, now that's the same number for both of y'all. Yeah. They just call in and be like, "Okay, I want a chef." Okay, hold on, please, and then bam. Well, it's separate actually. It is separate actually. The number is the separate. Number is separate. One number that's separate. Hi, if you want to reach Jason, press one. If you want to reach <laughs> Mary, press two. If you don't want to reach nobody, you get off my phone. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. Miss Mary. Yes. I, I was looking out the window at that mansion out there in Southfield, and I seen you out there by the bar uh, setting up different things. Uh, how, how do you roll? What is your feel in this? I have a mobile bartending service. So okay. we go around wherever the party is. That's where you drink, I make, will be. So we okay. provide the beverage experience. We do personalized drink menus with signature beverages, and we give them a full beverage experience. So we make the drinks take the party to the next level. Wow. Okay. Now. Okay. So, okay. Paint the picture for me. We got we got a party, and we want drinks there. Do you prefer the drinks, or you do you give the homeowner or the person throwing the party the menu how do that work um i provide a menu so they tell me what they like what kind of flavors what kind of colors whatever they're looking for and i base the menu off of that okay so if it's a halloween party they'll have black and orange drinks with a little smoke coming up you know the whole Shut night glow in the dark oh under the black God. light so whatever the theme i take it and i illuminate it just now, do you do a lot of non-alcoholic functions as well? I do. I do okay. children's events as well. Okay, yep, cool. So I do little birthday parties, Definitely. ice cream socials, wow, Sundays, the whole awesome. night. <laughs> so this event that evening that we met, you were, uh, they had multiple mixed drinks going on? Yes, they had, actually it was three events in one. It was a housewarming, a birthday party, and a fight night. Fight night party. Okay, okay. So we split the menu into three. Okay. And each drink, they had three signature drinks, and each drink was a housewarming. The next one was a fight night, and the one was a birthday. Wow, that so is awesome. they had awesome. an aspect of three different things going on at the one party. Wow. And, and, and you, how long have you been doing this? I started my company in February of last year. Okay, now they got something that they call when a person is bartending where you can tell when a person is probably had too much. Is, is, it, is it called tip what, it, what is tipsy? it tipsy yeah a yes. tip like when a person like something you're supposed to say to them when they had too much and they still drinking uh it's called being tip qualified you ever heard of that yes yes yes, yes you, i'm serve safe qualified okay yep. okay is that what that is yes okay because you know i'll be doing my little weight staff <laughs> myself i got a dude out there in the trenches that uh does a has a banquet service company uh, but wow, that is awesome. And we, and when that comes into play, we have non-alcoholic mixers, so they might not know that they're cut off. But okay, they're they cut, off. cut off. Right? They so drunk. <laughs> hey, it's the, they better than the last one, and there's no alcohol. And there's no there. alcohol in there. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Great. And to my understanding, you guys are newlyweds. Yes. yes. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I, I don't know if it's a birthday song for that, but congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all got married in June. July, July, July 26th. July 26th? Yes. Wow, July, August, September. Um, not even 90 days? Not even 90 days. Wow. Have y'all been on your honeymoon? We have not. Okay, y'all putting time away for the honeymoon? We are. Okay, because what I want to do on the show, you know I'm always giving away something. I'm going to give y'all your first bus pass transfer. <laughs> we will take it. <laughs> <laughs> on the Coffee Man Show, wherever y'all going, that transfer bus is on the Coffee Man. <laughs> it's on. No, I actually got some timeshares, uh, one in Vegas, one in Florida. I tell you what, next year, I have a, a three-bedroom suite villa. I'll let you guys know where I'm going. Room and board is covered. Y'all will be in a lockout facility of just y'all's in Florida for seven days. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So make so that means we gotta stay in touch, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Because like, yo, dude, where's my ticket? Right. We are going to to Florida next next year. 
Because every other year we go to Florida. We went last year. This year we're going to Vegas. We actually leave in September 28th. We'll be back November 4th. But in the new year, we're going to plan a trip to go to Florida. I have a three-bedroom suite, and they all kind of lock out from one another. You guys can have one for seven days. That's my present for you guys. That's the uh, that can be your honeymoon if it's not if it's hopefully if it's not too far away. No, that's you got perfect. It. Does that perfect. sound cool? That works. Yeah. Thank okay, you. Okay, and everything. I mean, once y'all get there, all of that is free. I mean, we got movie free movie theater, popcorn. The whole facility has everything on it. Got 15 swimming pools. Uh, it's okay. got tennis courts, bike riding, boat pedaling, basketball, all of that. Plus, uh, my game will be ready for yours, dog. So don't even try. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna make that happen. We don't have to eat. We gotta cook and eat. So oh yeah, my God! Good, so That's right. And they will be yeah. serving at this function, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So if y'all wanna come, it's gonna be live. <laughs> we're gonna do we're it gonna live. We're gonna be at the. Uh, I mean, it's called uh, West Gates okay. Resorts. Okay. You know, so I kind of like. Somewhat got it going on to the grace of God that we was able to get one of those places. The other timeshare we got in Vegas is actually already paid off. And it's just so awesome to meet people like you guys, especially. I mean, what made y'all want to come out of exchanging y'all time for money to actually go into a field? Mary, let me ask you to go into a field to where you determine your income level. What, 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 made, what gave you that? Um, it kind of happened on accident. Okay. So I'm going to say it was by accident. Um, I was really just trying to get a better bartending job. Okay. So I was taking pictures of my drinks to get to that next level to give to different employers as a little portfolio of what I could do. Okay. Okay. Ended up taking the pictures, getting a website made, end up starting a business. Wow. And I'm just so impressed when you come. Now, how long have you... Have you ever worked for somebody else in the bar? 13 years. 13 years I you worked for somebody I quit my job two months ago. Wow. And what type of work was that? I was a bartender and waitress at Olive Garden. Okay. you like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Wow. I'm Have you there. had plenty of uh, jobs uh, on your own with the bartending since then? Yes. Have you? Yes. Oh I've been God, very that's busy. beautiful. And we thank God that when you, when you, and all we have to do is step out on faith. You know, if we believe in entrusting, in the God we serve, he teaches us to step out, let go, and let him. And here's the evidence right here, ladies and gentlemen, to where a husband and wife team, separate companies. Now, I'm assuming y'all met at Olive Garden. Red Lobster, we started. Red, Red Lobster. Lobster. Yeah. Something going. So they <laughs> in the food feeding people business <laughs> and then yeah. made a decision to step out and do their own thing. And it's working out awesome. Now, my man, you got about 17 jobs, right? You got the mm -hmm. Olive Garden, you got the Big, Big Fish, fish and, and then you got the, the thing where you cooking on your own. Mm -hmm. You got jobs lined up also? Yes. Okay, okay, because we, we got a couple events coming up. Uh, the one on the 21st is kind of like already done. But after that, we got so many things coming up, especially here at the station, to where you guys can get your hands in this and start putting y'all y'all spin and y'all twist and y'all pinky out concept on some of this stuff that we doing okay. it's awesome so i just my suggestion is just to get ready get ready stay out of the way long enough it's supposed to be tough it's supposed to be hard because if if it if it's gonna be then it's not gonna come easy if it was easy everybody be doing it mm -hmm. when y'all made a decision to step away from what people call the normal I mean, that had to take a lot of guts, a lot of determination to just step out on faith mm -hmm. and be like, okay, God, if it's your will. Now, do y'all have children? Yes. yes we do. Okay, okay. How many children? Uh, we have six. Hallelujah. Okay, <laughs> that's beautiful. I love it. I got five. Okay. Yeah, my youngest just turned 11. A matter of fact, I was on the phone with her early. She said, but Daddy, we got an open house at school. They didn't tell us long enough. We, it wasn't early enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got to give, because when you're mm -hmm. moving and shaking, you're moving and shaking, and you got to give me a notice up front so oh, I can put it in the schedule. That. Yeah, and you people, <laughs> y'all going to run into a lot of people that is going to come off the cuff, and my suggestion is stay the course. They need to know that y'all have an agenda that they have to fall into. And if they don't fit, it's okay, because every all money ain't good money. I'm learning. Yeah, that. and uh, every business that's in your face ain't business. Mm -hmm. Y'all determine whether or not it's comfortable for you. So a lot of in my field of plumbing, 
I'm standing there talking to the homeowner and they telling me A, B, C, D and I'm getting that feeling. No, nah, I'm going to pass on this one because the, the details, and it's too simple for that. You got hot and cold and you got a drain system. Anything that complicates that, you try to stay out of the way of because mm -hmm. it's just too simple. And same in y'all feel. That's what I tell her. Yeah, and yeah. Warren Buffett said it best. Uh, what you do for a living, make it your uh, business. And what you do that you love, make it your hobby. And for y'all to be in the business of serving others, that's priceless. Because if you think about it, y'all y'all different jobs that y'all do is global. Everywhere you go in the world, people are eating and being served. Everywhere you go in the world, people are drinking and looking forward to a nice time. Y'all can go anywhere in the world and set up shop and just make an awesome lifestyle out of that. And that's when I look, when I saw that years ago, plumbing, coffee, uh, multiplying your money, uh, just you can go anywhere and do it. Mm -hmm. So I commend y'all. I congratulate y'all as newlyweds. Y'all do have a spot in, in uh, Florida. That's going to be awesome. Y'all mm -hmm. remind me because we go and y'all just make some money. <laughs> I'm going to remind you. We're going to this year, right around, right after Christmas, we'll start putting the date together because we want to make sure that it's kind of cold and generic here so it'll be beautiful there. Okay. So it'll be around uh, October, September, October time next year. Okay. You know, Pretty but fun. you guys are cordially invited. Wow. Uh, wow. That's going to be awesome. I'm excited. So is there anything, so the number that you shared is for both of y'all? Yes, it's the second number as well, though. Okay, because okay. they need to hear that. They need to hear the second number. Okay. Good All right. Yeah. So it's 734-506-6594. Again, 734-506-6594. Okay, now is it something, can they reach y'all on any of those, the Facebooks, the Twitter type oh, stuff? Oh, yes. Or, okay, give those numbers out, too. Okay. So we're on Facebook and we're on Instagram. For you drink I make, it's the letter U, the word drink, the letter I make. You drink I make. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram and also at youdrinkimake.com. For the Harvin Effect, we have Facebook and Instagram. You can find us at the Harvin Effect. Uh, that's T-H-E-H-A-R-V as in Victor, I-N, Effect, E-F-F-E-C-T. You know what I'm thinking in the spirit? Wait a minute. Look like we got a caller. Somebody want to eat. Let's see how I do this. Uh, caller, are you there? Caller, are you there? Yes. How you doing? I'm fine. And you? Great, great. Thanks for calling the Coffee Band Show. How could I serve you? Well, I was just calling in on the talk show because my niece asked me to. Okay. You, you done. Can you, can you speak up? Turn, you, turn your television down and speak up. Okay, I'm not even about to tell you. I'm outside now. Can you hear me now? You sound a lot better. Okay. Could I get somebody to turn this speaker around so I can hear it? Yeah, go ahead, hon. Okay, I was just calling in. I didn't know what the topic was for today, but she had told me to call in. Okay, so you said somebody told you to call in? Kimberly. Kimberly. Yeah. No, that's a different show. She called too late. Oh, okay, you calling for another show. This is the Coffee Man Show. How you doing? <laughs> okay, well, how you doing? What we talking about today? I'll talk with you. Oh, okay, yeah. This is the coffee band. We talk. We got a beautiful uh, power couple, husband and wife team. One of them is a beautiful bartender, and then the husband is an awesome chef. And they've been in this field for twenty five years, and they're self employed, uh, and they're in the trenches serving other people, as far as food and drink. Okay. Yes, so I appreciate you calling in. Okay. Okay, and next Thursday, if you want to uh, get in touch with the station between 3.30 and 4, and I have a coffee man uh, mug for you with a variety of coffees in it. Okay, I can do that. Okay, what's your name? And it's, my name is Joanne Howe. Okay, so and I'm the coffee so man. Make sure you up. contact the station. Uh, okay. Thursday between 3 and 4, and I should be here with your coffee mug and the varieties of coffee for you calling in, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Enjoy your day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. 
kind of. She like an accident caller on purpose, right? right? So she actually get the blessing and everything. Mm -hmm. Wow, I mean, okay, y'all just got married and it's beautiful and y'all got a honeymoon vacation coming up yes. and y'all end up cooking. You know what I was thinking? Let's put a date together. And, and I love last minute, I love the pressure uh, before the money's out. Let's put together a function to where y'all can show off y'all skills. Okay. Where we're doing a non-alcoholic uh, serving and just a variety of finger food. Okay. Let's put something together like that. All right. All right. How that sound? Like you know that. That sound good. Yes, and sir. and to put the pressure on, because remember, I'm a pressure type of person. It only work when it's kind of covered in and just on point pressure. Mm -hmm. That's what you Let it be about. before the 28th. Okay. okay. The 28th is actually two Thursdays from now. Let's do something. I want to say <laughs> the 27th. Okay. Wednesday oh, yeah. evening. Okay. All right. Uh, I got the place. Okay. Uh, you, we put a menu together, and we'll invite everybody. And then my next show coming up by next Thursday, we'll be able to announce where that where we can show off y'all gifts and y'all skills. How okay. that sound? Wonderful. All right. That's Hallelujah. Yes. Right. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Beautiful. You, you heard it first on the Coffee Man show. What we gonna do? We gonna get out of here. And I always say at the end of my show that you vividly visualize yourself as the person you want to be and enthusiastically achieve your goal, and we'll always be able to get it done. One cup at a time, and remember, keep it hot, keep it stirred here on the Coffee Man Show.